Well, hello everyone, it's Jemma McTabay here. I hope you are having an amazing day. For those that don't know me, my name is Jemma McTabay and I am a session touring musician, a music producer and music director from Sydney, Australia. And I am now living here in the USA, uh, specifically in Holland, Michigan. And in this video, I want to talk about my first ever Telecaster and I'm about to do a pickup upgrade on this guitar. But this guitar means a lot to me and it has actually been a guitar that has helped me so much on my journey and I am excited to throw in some new pickups from <laughs> from JL Custom Guitars from Pennsylvania. For those that don't know JL Custom Guitars, it's a one-man operation from Pennsylvania ran by my good friend Jared Lipscomb. Uh, I actually have a previous video where I got to demo a guitar he created out of epoxy and it is a super super special guitar. Oh, oh my oh my gosh are you seeing this all right we got a flamed maple top and we got some amazing custom pickups designed by jared himself and look at this burl back it's got like this see-through epoxy where you can see the flame maple at the back and this burl wood it's got this really nice cutaway here, bolt on neck. I don't even know what wood this is, but even the tuners are made out of wood too. And Jared makes some incredible handmade instruments with some incredible ideas. And he sent me some Telecaster pickups. But before I get these installed, I want to talk about my first ever Telecaster. And before I swap pickups, I'll do a little bit of a demo of what this guitar is. Um, but the story goes, in 2018, I was actually looking for a Telecaster. And... I actually was using my Duesenberg Starplay TV for like three years straight. And before I got the Duesenberg, I really wanted a Telecaster. In fact, uh, 2015 was the year that I graduated out of high school. And the guitar that I wanted to get for a graduation gift was actually a Richie Cotton Telecaster. Uh, I loved the fat neck. I loved the sunburst. I loved how fat and punchy that guitar sounded. I loved the uh, all maple neck, fat C shape. It was, it was awesome. Uh, that was going to be my next guitar after I've been using my Ibanez RG1XXV for so long. When I went to the guitar store with my parents, uh, someone already bought it and I was actually bummed out. And instead of finding another Telecaster, I wanted up buying a Duesenberg Starplay TV because it's an amazing guitar. And that wound up being my, my, um, my graduation present. And for a three-year stretch, that was the guitar I used almost every day. And I loved it. I loved the sound that I got from my Duesenberg. But, you know, I was still missing a Telecaster. And during that time in 2018, I was working at a factory job and I decided to save some money. Um, and I was looking for some people who would um, sell Telecasters without breaking an arm and a leg. Initially, I wanted a Sir Classic T Antique, but man, I don't think it would be worth for me spending three to four thousand Australian dollars on a Telecaster. So one day, my Ibanez, my yellow Ibanez, needed some work, and I hit up my good friend Lucas Lespinner. And I said to him, dude, do you know anyone who could do some work on my Ibanez and um, make it playing great again? And he goes, man, I need to take you to my friend Timo and let's organize a meeting uh, because he also makes Telecasters. So I was like, hey, let's go check it out. I'd love to meet your friend and let's go get my guitar fixed up and try some guitars. So we wind up driving all the way to Cherrybrook, uh, which is a suburb in Sydney. And I meet Timo, who is the most amazing guy. And this guitar was sitting on the corner. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious, can I give that guitar a try? <laughs> so I wound up picking up this guitar. And upon first strum, I was like, this is everything I wanted. <laughs> had the fat neck from the Richie Cotson telly, it had double binding sunburst, and it also had a sound which was so punchy like I was looking for in the Sir Classic T Antique. I love the bridge pickup where it wasn't uber twangy, it had some punch to it, and I love the neck pickup where it sounded somewhat like a Strat. And this guitar has taken me on so many amazing gigs, actually when the first time I went to the US, this is the guitar that I use majority of the time. I played on albums, I played on live shows with it in the US. Um, it, it is built like a tank, it's super solid. 
uh, and it has been the catalyst of why I love telecasts and why I have so many other telecasts. Like, I've got this guy right here, and my latest collection is my uh, my Elliott guitars, Sugar Pine ET. And I love this guitar so much that I winded up getting another Tolbin and Telecaster, which is my white uh, Disciple T, which has been my main guitar that I've been using for the last uh, five years. And until I got my Elliott Sugar Pine T. <laughs> but yeah, this guitar is super special and it's near and dear to me, super near and dear to my heart. It has helped me become the musician that I am today. It has opened a lot of doors of opportunity for me. And man, it is such a special, special instrument. And it's loaded with a Tone Rider Classic T in the bridge and a Mick Briley uh, 50s Broadcaster in the neck. But I'm so excited to try something different with this telly and I'm excited to see how, what these pickups are going to sound like in this guitar. It's, they're like a custom hand-wound broadcaster type pickup. So I'm excited. The only gripe that I ever had with this guitar is that it's super punchy which is awesome. But sometimes I'd be like, oh I wish I had a bit more balance in the uh, the middle position because this is like a, the bridge pickup is like a super rock and roll type of pickup and it can get quite bright in the in the bridge and then the neck pickups like stratty but it's definitely got a lot lower output so trying to balance these two has been kind of like a like a little bit of a uh, a challenge that I've had for the last six years I've had this telly but other than that this guitar has just been amazing super super special thank you to Timo Tolvanen of Tolvanen Guitars in Sydney Australia there it is big old headstock thank you to Timo and his support to me over the years my life has been so blessed by Timo Tolvanen and Lucas Laspina. I wouldn't be where I am without those guys too. Let's do a little demo of this telly with the pickups that are in it now. And let's give it a listen to what these new pickups will sound like on this telly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. It says, Gem Custom Wound Pickup Hot. <laughs> That's what bridge pickup looks like oh <laughs> and here's the neck pickup looks like a strat how awesome is that that would look so awesome <laughs> in the sunburst telly I'm excited to throw them in all right so here I am now once again with my trusty old Tolvan and Disciple T in sunburst with the brand new JL customs uh, 50s style broadcaster pickups in here. I've been playing this now for the last few months the last I think two to three months with it And I have been absolutely loving it. My goodness It has really taken this guitar to a whole new level and it's it's that good that I every time I pick it up and play it I find it really hard to put it down because it just sounds so good. All the frequencies are balanced really well. It handles gain really well. They're matched well in their output. There's no harsh frequencies. It just feels right and sounds so, so good. I'm going to get my friend Kevin Barrett, who I serve with here on team at the church I'm at. Um, he's the one who actually installed the pickups on this guitar. And he's got a few words to share about these pickups and what a huge day and night difference um, these pickups are compared to the old set of pickups that I had. All right, everyone, so I am here joined with my dear friend, Kevin Barrett. Uh, we serve together here at Central, and he's the one who did the installation of these new pickups on my guitar. And actually, he knows about this guitar a bit as we did like an album recording together. Um, but I just want to get Kevin's thoughts on what it was like installing the pickups and playing the pickups and comparing it to the old ones. So Kevin, what is, how was the installation process of these pickups and your thoughts on the sound of the pickups? All right, uh, install process, they're, they're a tele pickup, so there wasn't anything surprising there. Just if you've, anybody who's installed those and the nice thing about Telecasters is they're uh, pretty simple construction if there was ever a Swiss Army knife kind of a guitar, it's a tele. And uh, so the pickups, they went in as you, was, as you would expect, it was pretty straightforward. Um, like Jem said, I, I'm familiar with him and this guitar. We've, uh, I, I'd known it and played around with it myself for a few years. I, I'd helped him do some other work on it. So when it came time to put uh, a different set of pickups in, I thought, oh, cool. Because actually I was not particularly fond of, of the ones he had in here previously. So uh, once we put these things in here, it just gave new life to it, right? So, which is really cool. There, I mean, 
like with your other tellies, they're, some of them are voiced a little more traditionally. These ones are, you know, higher output. They're designed to be hot. And they, they just really brought, you know, they, they brought life to this thing. And, and then also, I would say, helped, you know, with some of the other Telecasters. This really has its own voice, I think, in your collection. So that was my thought. Really great pickups. Um, they, they, they're, they're really dynamic. They clean up really well. Um, that, that you can pretty much dial in anything you want with just playing around with the controls a little bit. And yeah, very happy with them. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> very, very happy indeed. Anyways, here's a little bit of Kevin's A-B test with the old pickups and the new pickups. And you can hear a very, very big difference. So thank you, Kevin. And here's a sound sample. <laughs>
As you can hear, these pickups are much more warmer. They have a lot of clarity. The, the frequencies are matched evenly. They've got a ton of uh, clarity, but also a lot of punch and a lot of dynamics. And it is just so even across the frequencies that it is just so good. They match well with all my effects and amps that I use. And it is just so good. I, I think these are like my brand new favorite broadcaster style set of pickups. and my goodness gracious they are so so good so yeah i i could not be any more happy with these pickups and it's given a brand new life to my guitar which i love very very dearly and i'm excited to make more memories with this guitar and make more music and just love the tone that i'm getting with this guitar <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more of what I get up to with my music, visit me on my social media at jemmyjams underscore or my website at www.jemmymactivatingmusic.com. If you like my Line 6 Helix and HX Dom presets, they are available right now on multitracks.com. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I want to give a huge shout out once again to Jared at JL Customs Guitars over in Pennsylvania. Seriously, he makes some of the most incredibly creative and well-built guitars. And also if you want some of these pickups, feel free to message Jared either through his website or on Instagram. And I guarantee you, if you're looking for a nice set of punchy Telecaster pickups that are really versatile and they are well balanced across the board. Try these pickups out. They are so, so good. So have yourself an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Peace out.